Four parks in Henderson have been seriously damaged in just the last two months, and police say that someone picked up rocks, flushed them down the toilets and urinals at Paradise Point Park, and the bathrooms there will remain closed until they make repairs. There's also been graffiti, smashed lights, and damage to the gates. Since uh, the summer has ended, we're probably over $100,000 in damages. A chain link fence keeps kids off of this playground. Henderson parks keep getting vandalized and it's forcing them to temporarily shut down. This is a look at some of the damage at Avellino Park. That's near St. Rose Parkway and Star. It will be closed through February to repair the damaged playground equipment and ripped floor padding. Our playground surfacing is, is very expensive, so you know those are generally about fifty to seventy thousand dollars to replace them. Two other parks are currently closed down due to vandalism. In Inspirata, they ripped off the restroom doors. We're dealing with, with like everybody else, with uh, replacement parts. You know, with the, uh, you know, getting stuff in and shipped in. It's you know where there's delays. The city says not only is this inconvenient for neighbors, but it's expensive for the city, which has already spent a lot this year repairing parks. In August, the playground at Cinnamon Ridge Park was set on fire, causing about $25,000 in damage. And on New Year's Day, someone set the playground at Reunion Trails Park on fire. The damage there, at least $100,000. From graffiti at Rodeo Park to people driving in the grass at Hidden Falls Park, Mission Hills Park, and Acacia Park, it cost the city and taxpayers thousands. The city says they're increasing patrols around some parks to try to stop the vandalism before it happens, even using code enforcement officers and private security. And Henderson is asking for the public's help. If you see vandalism happening, call 911. HPD says the fines for vandalism of this type range from $250 up to $5,000.